Have you ever wished there was a way to automatically respond to people when they send you an SMS text message? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take messages that come in on your Google Voice phone number and respond with a tailored message all using AI. And I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. The way I came up with this entire scenario is out of frustration. So I was, I recently went away on vacation and I have a Google Voice number that I use for business. I wanted a way that I can communicate with people who text me and to let them know that I was out of office, right? Similar to what you see in different um, email clients. Um, and I checked in the, the Google Voices back office and there was no setting there that allowed me to set this up. So what did I have to do? I had to build an automation. And this is what you're looking at right now, okay? So there's a setting in Google Voice, which I'll show you in a second, that allows you to take any, anyone who text message, any text message and forward it to your email, to your Gmail account. So what I'm gonna use that to my advantage, right? So what, we, what I did was I set up a mail hook that I will use to forward that message into this automation. Okay, so we'll, we'll have uh, um, a mail hook that gets imported into the automation after someone text messages me. Then I'm gonna export the number and convert it into an international format. Then I'll use uh, OpenAI to then analyze the, the content of that message, cater a response, and send it out using my Twilio number. So Twilio is what I use for a lot of my outbound uh, campaign and it's also my um, AI assistance uh, phone number. So unfortunately I couldn't use the same number that I use for my Google voice to respond to, but at least we can make it seem as if um, I, my assistant who's an AI assistant is going to respond on my behalf. Okay. So um, let, let me show, let's show you the pieces that I use to build everything. Okay. So First, you obviously need a Gmail account. Once you have your Gmail account, uh, what you need to do is um, then set up a Google Voice account, which is all free once you have a, um, a Gmail account. And once you go into Google Voice, what you need to do is turn on, go into settings, and then you go to messages. And what you can do is you can um, enable um, forward messages to email. And it'll automatically have your, uh, your Gmail account. Um, you click that. And so what, what, what will happen is whenever someone text messages you, that message will then be sent to your email address, okay? So now let's jump over to the email address and then you can see all the, the list of different text message notifications that I, that I receive, all right? So what you need to do next is you need to set up a filter. So if you go into settings um, by clicking this wheelbarrow and it's, um, select um, see all settings, what you wanna do next is go to filter and um, I'm sorry, forwarding, forwarding options. Um, I'm sorry, no, I said it right. Yeah, so filter and blocked addresses. What we need to do is we need to create a filter. I already have a filter set up that's forwarded, that's forwarded to my current, um, that's forwarded to my current uh, mail hook. But what we need to do is an important step next. So we gotta pause right here and let's go start building this automation, okay? Um, so once we click a new scenario, what you wanna do is we wanna click mail hook. I'm um, sorry, web hook. And then what you wanna choose is you wanna choose custom mail hook okay uh what we can do is we can say um, add new or you can choose an existed no let's say, let's say add new and what we're going to say is let me just say um gmail 2 mail hook. i just call it gmail 2 mail hook for now hit save and what it once you create a mail hook what it's going to do is it's going to create an uh, email address for you okay what we're going to do is we're going to copy that address to clipboard hit okay and what we want to do is we want to run this, okay? And I'll show you why in a second. Because whenever you set up a fo any forwarding in Gmail, what's going to happen is Gmail is going to want to prove that that email address is legit, all right? And the only way we can get that message is if we turn on that, if we turn on the automation. So what we're doing now is I'll just edit this um, and continue. Um, what I did is, sorry, just so you know, is if the subject line contains the word text in there, then I, I want that message to be forwarded to this address, okay? Um, so let's hit, uh, let's hit search or my bad. Let's go back. See all settings, go to, um, filter block address, go here, hit edit. And then what we'll do is hit continue. And what you do is add forwarding address. And if we click on this down arrow, let's see. Oh, sorry. Add forwarding address here and hit this, which is the, what we copied from the, the scenario we just built Hit next. What's going to happen is 
you gotta go through some authentication. Is it you? Yes, it's me. Hit okay. Um, forwarding mail to this address and proceed. And what's gonna happen next is a confirmation link has been sent to this address. So now if we jump back to the scenario, we'll see how it triggered. And this is the forwarding address. This is the email actually, sorry. Uh, the forwarded email that came to this uh, mail hook. So if we go to text, what we need to do next, is we need to find the URL that is sent, okay? So this is the tricky part. So once you highlight um, the link, right click on it, and we can just say go to here, and it's going to give you a confirmation. Please confirm the forwarding address, hit um, confirm. And once the confirmation is successful, we are good to go. So let's see. let's see. Continue over here. There you go. Jeez. All right. So updated the filter. Finally. All right. So I got this working finally um, after some trial and error. So now whenever we send a text message, it should forward to this address. Okay. All right. So good. So we got the forwarding set up and um, now that we have the forwarding set up, let's just rename this to all right google voice to email okay okay all right perfect um and let's just call this uh google um voice text Google voice order spot now. All right, and then we're gonna give it a little emoji. Here, boom. All right, boom. All right, cool. So hit save here and Next thing we want to do is we want to, um, for the phone number, actually let's do this. That's it. Let's do this. Let's hit run once. Let's get this going. So what I'm going to do is I am going to send a text message to my Google voice number. Okay. So let's do it here. So the text message is going to be see, sorry. <clears throat> uh, test. Right. Boom. All right. So I just send a message here called test and we can see the text. It says test right here, um, which is great. So now what I want to do is I want to export the phone number. So let's, if you go to phone, uh, make has a, a module called, um, phone that allows you to, to parse the number so that it's in a specific time zone, right? So the phone number is going to be <clears throat> here um, under the name, or we can even use, yep, the sender's name right here. The sender's name is gonna be the phone number. And what we're parsing is um, a US. So US number, right? Cool. So we wanna say export the number. Let's rename this module. Oops, sorry. Let's rename to export. All right, hit OK. All right, cool. For good measure, what we want to do also is we want to set up a filter here so that we make sure that because you can receive because what right now the, the the filter all the filter is doing is it's looking at the subject line to see if it includes the word text. Okay, so for good measure, we just want to make sure. Um, we just want to make sure that again, that's, that's happening and nothing like slips through the cracks. So we say text message, 
That's the filter. And the condition is the subject line. Let's see. The subject line um, contains a case insensitive. Let's say text message. All right? It contains text message. In this case it's sensitive. So if we include the word text message, uh, then it will automatically forward that or allow the, the, the workflow to continue. Okay, cool. So let's uh, save that. We're going to save anyway. It doesn't like to have any uh, transformers at the end. And all right, well, so we, what we're going to do next is we want to analyze that text, that message, right? So let's go to open AI. We got oh, um, to create a completion. And the model we're going to use for this is we're going to use 4.0 um, max tokens. We could just hit zero and the role is user and the content. So let me just cheat here. Oops. And copy what I've already written and then we'll read it together. Okay. If you don't know by now what I'm using, I'm using, um, I'm using make make.com is an automation tool that allows you to plug in a bunch of different software components together. Um, you see, we use the mail hook, we're using open AI, you can use Claude and you can use a plethora of different products and allow each product to kind of communicate with each other. That's the beauty of this entire thing. So or orchestration, entire automation, just in case you didn't know. Okay. All right. So in this, um, open AI, the, the content, that the, the content or the, what I like it to do is just say that your role is to summarize the text below and format it and a format an auto offers response to the recipient. An example, uh, hello, I'm Aaron. I'm Aaron's AI assistant. And we just received the message from you regarding a, a summary. So this summary is going to summarize what the actual message says. Okay. Aaron is out of office and he has limited access to text messaging um, and email messages at this time. He will, he will return to, to the office on Monday, 9, 23, 24. Or well, we could even change that because this is an old date. So let's just change it to, I don't know, whatever. Uh, 9, 27, I'll say 9, 30, doesn't matter. 24, if this is uh, an emergency, please try him on his personal cell phone via WhatsApp at, and it's the number, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, your input should be less than 1600 characters. I'll put your response only. Please write the following analyst, yada, 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 okay? All right, so the text that we got to take is the actual message and we'll pull that from um, the mail hook, right? So it's going to be the text, which is in here. Cool. All right, we'll hit OK. And let's just rename this. We're going to rename it to text message. Prep. Because what we're doing right now is we're actually preparing a text message to send back to the person who texted text you when you're out of office, right? Right. And let's just go, um, tool. I like to use a toolbox because we prep it. Cool. Hit okay. And let's hit save. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send another message. Let's see. All right. There we go. Uh, is, um, Aaron, um, Aaron. Are you available for signing on Monday? I say tomorrow. Tomorrow at um, 3 p.m. in Beyond. Let's see, we're just close. Right, we're gonna hit send. Oh, I may have to do that again. Okay, let's say to send it again because I didn't run it. So let's just try to run it. Run once, wait for new data, and I'm going to send that to myself again. All right. So right now Google has forwarded, forwarded the message to text and it came through, right? So this is the message that came in that was forwarded um, from the Google voice number. 
it confirmed through it confirmed that the the, the subject um, the subject line contained text message, which we can confirm here in the subject line. Cool. And and it exported the phone number and it exported it into an international format, which we will need later on when we use uh, Twilio. And let's see, let's let's look at the message it says. It says, hello, Aaron, I'm in. Hello, I'm Aaron's, I'm saying Aaron. <laughs> hello, hello, I'm Aaron, AI assistant. And we just received a message from you regarding a signing tomorrow at 3 p.m. in Beyond for a purchase closing. Aaron is out of the office and has limited access to text messages, text messaging and emails at this time. You will return to the office on Monday, 9 30, 2024. If this is an emergency, please contact them on his personal cell via WhatsApp at the list of number. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cool, right? So the last step of what we need to do is we need to actually respond to the person with that message, right? So what we can do is we use Twilio and um I'm not going to go into the detail on how you set up a Twilio account, but what I'll do is I'll include a link um, somewhere on this video that'll show you the other the other video that I did when I fully explain how to set up a Twilio account. But Twilio, um, just so you know, it's a platform that allows you to basically purchase virtual numbers. It could be 800 number or a local number to you, and it allows you to send text messages and it allows you to do phone calls. Um, it allows you to automate the entire process as well. And it's a pretty um, cool product. It's similar to like a, a Google voice number. Um, but in this particular case, um, Google voice, like I mentioned earlier, has some limitations as far as what you can do with it. Um, where this, um, it is a paid product. I mean, you pay per usage on um, Twilio, but, and you also pay for the number up front, depending on what kind of number you, um, decide to go with. But it's, it's pretty good, but as you can um, see in a second. So I use Twilio mostly for um, inbound calling, like up, it's my 800 number. And uh, it's also I'm using it right now for outbound texting, okay? So what we're gonna do is go to Twilio. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a message, okay? Um, whenever you connect any new account um, to make for the first time, what it's gonna do is gonna have a little pop-up box out of that Want you to authenticate so with all of these applications i've already authenticated myself with um specifically with um open ai and now twilio um so we didn't have to do it here but when you do it for the first time you're gonna have to uh do that okay all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the phone number and then we want to select the phone number that we already have this is my 800 number Two, what we want to do is we want to select who we sending who we sending the text to. We want to use the international international formatted number, okay? And what we're going to do is we want to create a body, and in the body we want to use the message that we received or that we um, compiled in with OpenAI, okay? So that's the results from the OpenAI here, All right? So that's pretty much it. Hit OK. Let's just say let's just rename this. And we're going to just call it send a text and right click this I'm all about my emojis and let's say phone. Let's see. That's cool. Awesome. Hit OK. Make sure we hit save. And again, I'm going to just copy and send the same message that I did before. To but actually, before I do it, let's hit run once, let's wait for new data, hit paste, let's send it off, and in a few seconds, everything should come through. And what I will show you is my screen, my phone, so you'll see the message as it comes in. Okay, so in a second, you'll see it come through. Oh, you heard that. Cool. So here it is. So you see my previous tests on here, but um, the message came through and it looks exactly what we said before. And if you can see it here, it says, hello, um, Aaron's AI is assisted. And we just received a message from you regarding requests um, for Aaron's availability for a purchase closing and on at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Aaron is out of the office and there's a actual email. Yada, yada, yada. We kind of went through this just now. So. All right, so this automation is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, and you could build this with the free account that you create on Make. But if you're lazy like me, 
um, you will have access to them. You can gain access to my community. Um, and then you will have this exact blueprint and a bunch of other automations that I've done. And you could check all the YouTube videos that I found. All the automations are on in the community where you'll get access to a copy of this blueprint where you just have to click on this more button, click on import and the automation exact the entire automation comes in. Of course, you're going to have to connect your personal accounts, but all the heavy lifting is already done there as well. All right. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. This one is short and sweet. Till next time. Peace.